Bryson. I'm ready. Let's all do right. it. Well, well Bryson, first of all, congratulations, Thank not you. only on getting your first professional win, but earning a PGA Tour card. Yeah, no, it's an honor. Um, again, like I said in the other interview, to do it on 9-11 is pretty special. You know, I've always, I always wear red, white, and blue on Sundays, and um, to do that today is, is something amazing. You know, I think there was an extra burden on you as well. You went out in the first round and played very, very mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And then the second round was stop and start and mm -hmm. difficult. And you came into this tournament, let's face it, with a lot of expectations. Yeah. And for you to sleep on that night after night and come out here and win in dramatic fashion, you've got to be proud of what oh, you've just done. Absolutely. It's a big patience test for me, and I think I passed. <laughs> well, you certainly did. Uh, let's talk about Bryson and the rest of these events. Are you going to go out and go for number one here? Why not? I mean, we're trying to do our best out here, and uh, we're trying to get the best spot out there for the PGA Tour and in rankings and whatnot, and, and try to make some money as well. It's not a bad thing. Absolutely. And let's just talk about just how difficult this course has been playing the last few days. Not easy with the wind up and the rough up uh, and the slopey greens. It was a brutal test, a really good test. And the U.S. Open definitely helped me a little bit, especially with how long the rough was and being comfortable with hitting wedge shots around the greens. And uh, the nice thing was that the greens were receptive, and so you're able to throw darts at the pins uh, when you were in the fairway. It was lift clean in place, so that definitely helped. Congratulations on a quality, quality win, Bryson. Thank you very much.